Hello, 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 hello. I am back. So yeah, let's let's play. What's this? It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. I don't care. Ooh. Energy bar. Mine. Hello. Hey there. Hi. Glenn. Wait, was that supposed to be Glenn? Oh my. I, I feel like an idiot. So the same Glenn from. Okay. It, it does make sense. He did say he was from Macon. Yeah, whatever. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Okay. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. What are they on about? Sit tight. Okay. Alright, what, what am I supposed to be looking for? More of this. Hello. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. He was trying to kill a kid. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Uh <laughs> he's got he's got a temper. Ah fuck you. <laughs> he doesn't mean it. It's just that Yeah. Kids We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell. That it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Okay. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I do like this this conversation stuff, you know, character development, you know. Uh, what do you think? What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. Uh, you're from you're here. from here. I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot. Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are <laughs> you okay? That, what's with their reaction? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. The owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. No! To him. Oh Sounds my good. god. No way. The cop at the beginning mentioned something about his family owning a pharmacy. Wow. What, what are the odds? <laughs> Damn. Well, I guess his parents are dead. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hello. Hey, Lee. 
really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you. Denial. Uh, what's, the, what's plan? the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Oh. Well, th that answers my question. They uh, own this place. They uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. That sounds like bullshit, bro. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? <laughs> no, that sounds that sounds awful. Well, the family's dead, so. That's awful, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> well, she seems to be handling herself all right. She's <laughs> just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. <laughs> oh, the, oh, that was so terrible. <laughs> well, her family's dead. Well, I'm so honest, though. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Man, get that Lee, stupid face out of here. Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. Okay. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah. That's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Damn. I mean, that, I mean, really, what's the point in looking back on it? He's dead, and we're not with Herschel anymore, so it's not, not much we can do about that. Ugh. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Here, have it's a candy. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Then, uh. I don't remember them very well. Damn. Oh, I didn't even say. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? He really no, had. I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Mm, funny. Hello. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself yeah. pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. Sucks to suck. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. What? Huh? huh? Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> Lee! Lee's my spirit animal. <laughs> How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Uh, what are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. 
Okay, oh. Power. Hmm, nothing. Well, hmm, nothing. Okay. Oh my god. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. You're a grown adult. And you, <laughs> you didn't check for that. Ah. Uh. Oh, battery. Give me That's one. I need batteries. Batteries, 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 batteries. Yeah. Ah, cool. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Central High Take State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Okay. Hey, I got batteries. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. <laughs> should be able to get it to work now. <laughs> Why did he just get him both? The... He's like, here's this battery, thank you. And here's another one. <laughs> okay, uh. Hey, Carly. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. It's not the batteries. In. Oh my god. <laughs> How are you this stupid? <laughs> a fucking two year old kid. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> what am I looking at? <laughs> Oh my god, bro. This is hilarious. Fucking dumbass. <laughs> Can't even read the fucking sign. Yeah, turn that on. As the unknown you fixed it. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones... God bless you all. Cool. Uh, hey hello? There. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> really? You don't have to be. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Here. Have Here. a chocolate. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? Oh. Yeah, she might, I suppose. Yeah, give it to her. I can take care of myself. Okay. Wait, did I not give Clementine one? Oh my, I didn't give her a chocolate bar here! It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I got another chocolate bar. Do you want it now? Can I do anything for you, Carly? I'm fine, thanks. Or do I do I not have Nope. I thought I had three. Now yeah, whatever. Alive inside. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> well, it's midnight. Keep mm. playing. Maybe till one. Oh, hello there. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Oh my god. Oh. I 
this door leads to the back alley. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. <laughs> She's so innocent. What's this? What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. <laughs> Ow, mayor. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Oh. Sure. Look at that face. Here we go. Just, just like Watch my dog. That might have come out wrong. I do it. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Optimism. Okay. Here e we go. Even though your parents are dead. <laughs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Uh, what are your parents do? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like um, social studies? <laughs> yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. Oh, damn it, Clem. Right, just drop further. it. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Uh, let's be honest. Because they're dead. Oh. Just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I am. Um, I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. And after that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Damn. I tried to tell her, but I guess the game wouldn't allow Ow! it. What the fuck? Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Found it. Get the remote for that thing in here someplace. My parents came in here hoping to survive. Looks like one of them was her. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Protect her, at least. There's a photo over there. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Give me a second. Uh, they'll find. I don't think they will. I asked you a question. I don't think they will. 
They want you to be safe. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Can I grab this? Why do you do that? <laughs> Find anything? Oh! Just, just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. Okay. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. What? This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for ah! WABE in Atlanta. Ah! I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Thanks for ratting me out. To... Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Uh, was, yeah. The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. Okay. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. <sighs> Thanks. Thanks. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Why do you... Okay, but what... <laughs> All right, thanks for the backstory, but you just ratted me out in front of Clement. <laughs> Here, let me put Let's have a band. look at that finger. No. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Uh, Band-Aid. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. That sounded weird. I don't know why. Cool, you got a Band-Aid. It's the remote to my dad's TV. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Oh, yeah. That's what I figured. Your finger. It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Um. Yep. Think, I think that's everything. Let's go. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee. Yeah. You're not bad, right? I. Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Uh, no. It's complicated. It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's, uh, head back to the others. I'm not gonna admit this to a fucking child. <laughs> like, you don't tell a little girl, hey, I killed a person. Are you okay? How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, <laughs> no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Check on Clementine. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? 
So I'm down at that motor inn, and well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to Typical get some supplies, and, and a bunch of the Roman ones got to jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you've got your family here. I'll take Carly and her Who's dead Doug? eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Hey, who good. the hell's Doug? Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. <laughs> Who's Doug? <laughs> what? The fuck is Doug? Um. Yeah. You ready to head out? Let's go Got save it. Glenn. You? Uh, sure. Yeah. Let's go. We're coming, Glenn. Notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. So we got two zombies there. We got one there. No, it's four. That's five. I think it's all of them. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Okay. I think now is a perfect time to stop, alright? I will keep playing, but I'm going to end the video. Alright, it's kind of long, so bear with me. I'll see you in the next one.